sisters. Black girl with radiant skin and chocolate curls. Remember the world is at your fingertips, but a weapon is at theirs and it is aimed at you. They'll make light of the topic of appropriated culture as if it's a joke, as if it isn't a factor because they're not original like you, because everything they have is stolen. They'll feel entitled to play dress up in what they believe resembles you and then mock you for resembling you. Listen closely. They will wear your skin like a costume, crucify and purge you of your culture and everything they hate about you. Paint those same attributes on in thick layers of black paint and intolerance. Prance around in box braids and cornrows thinking if you close one eye and tilt your head to the left, maybe it'll look a little less like you, black girl. There will be days when you feel weak, but black girl, remember, remember that you have it a lot easier than your mother's mother. Remember that if your ancestors would have given up, you wouldn't be here. Remember that sunshine, faith, and old hymns run through your bloodstream. They will do things you can't, like stand in their family's backyards without a fear that a bullet will become their next relative. Pull triggers on innocent victims, call it an error. Say they felt threatened by the mere presence of your black brother, so much so that the weapon of their chamber needed to be released seven times faster than a child in the back seat or a girlfriend to your right ever could. Golden girl. Recognize chastisement won't bind your soul as harshly as it will your sisters of a darker pigment. Recognize that they don't love you in the slightest. They love that your skin as in unmelanated as their hearts. Golden girl. Don't forget that you are still a black girl. Sunburst and stars, twilight and lunar eclipse. Recognize the power in unified speech. Don't be another meteorite cast into your sister's confidence. Create chocolate, milky ways in the name of Jesus. My skin is a mural of art. A mural of bronze pride and bravery. Not one that will ever, ever adorn the walls of your temple or continue to lay bare on the stolen, blood-drenched ground that my ancestors built with raw hands, white person. When will you understand? My story, my people, it is my culture. Taking advantage of it is a privilege you simply do not get.